What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ronnie Pugs back again with another episode of the Road to Spider Man PS4 series, the series where I play all the movie games on the PS2 and PS3 leading into the eventual release of Spider Man PS4. And surprisingly, we're almost finished with the Amazing Spider Man, you know. We only live stream twice, and the reason I'm not live streaming today is because I have more classes now. I have a I have another class that just started up, so I don't have as much time as I do in the morning to be live streaming and everything. So I figured we could get some of these levels done though, and then maybe uh you know these two levels right here could be the finale, or we'll see depending on how much time I got because I really have an hour before I'm supposed to go, and I didn't want to stream everything. You just stream for like 30 minutes, you know. So I wanted to do this also because last stream it wasn't that good either like I had some quality issues which you guys didn't seem to mind but I personally didn't want to do um the beginning at least because it just looked awful it looked like I was playing uh like the original Xbox or something so I figured we just go back to this for now I know it's not live streaming as much as we have in the past with Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Ultimate Spider-Man oh well though I do like doing this more because it is better quality and I can deliver this DL And we are back in the Raimi suit, the legit Raimi suit this time. Incredible news. Woo. I reprogrammed the hunter to spread the antidote to every hospital in the city. But I still need a few oh, that's great. to make it work. That sounds great, but you need to skip the tweaks. Connors is in full blown lizard mode. He's coming your direction. Of course. Oh. What did you expect, Peter? I'm on my way. Oh no, so let's just get these guys out pretty quick. Um I should be able to do two levels because right now recording this it is literally like 830 and I gotta get ready by 930 so let's see how far we can do this. And guys, good one thing about this episode that is different from the rest of the episodes, this is my first episode recording since a thousand subscribers. I cannot believe it, like that is crazy, like thank you guys so much so much for that like honestly like who would have thought too that someone wants to sit here and listen to me talk about spider-man a thousand people want to do it that is crazy like even a hundred back in the day okay let's not die let's not die oh my gosh this is awful right now we are off to a terrible start y'all <laughs> what do we do over here i'm pretty sure we just gotta go this way okay let's go up Man, but honestly, I cannot thank y'all enough for that. That is that is crazy. Sorry, I'm just a little confused right now on what to do, but y'all a thousand, that's crazy when we are gonna be doing the 1000 subscribers live stream QA. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do because I'm gonna be answering the questions over there for you guys to answer. I actually got a decent amount of oh this is cool right here. I completely forgot about this part. Man, I actually forgot about this. Okay, that's the piranha that we gotta fight. We haven't fought Rhino yet. I'm pretty sure we don't yet, cause um, something I forgot, you guys. Since we're not doing the side missions or anything, we're not gonna be fighting the Rhino in the street. We're not gonna be uh, what is it? There's a part in the game where Peter runs through the city and Stanley calls him on the phone. Actually, I think this is where you fight Rhino. I forgot. Um, it, it looks familiar though. This. Because I know you fight him twice. I'm pretty sure you do. I might be lying, though. I don't know. Wrong. Everywhere. It's longer. I don't know what you're saying, Gwen, but I get the picture. I'm almost there. I don't even know where to go right now, Peter. So where are you supposed to go? As I go. Okay, over here. But y'all, still, a thousand subscribers is crazy, and I know that is not a big number to a lot of YouTubers out there, like, because after this, um, y'all are probably going to go watch somebody that has even more subscribers, but still, man, it is just crazy to think about that. Like, a thousand people I don't know want to sit here and listen to me talk about Spider-Man or play Spider-Man, like, that is crazy. Thank you guys for that so much. Wednesday, we're doing the Q&A video. I got a decent amount of questions surprisingly and I will answer them or at least try to get all of them. I have them all written down on a document so far so I should be able to answer them then. so we will be good. 
It's not gonna be like this either. I'm gonna be talking in front of the camera, uh, sort of like the 500 subs, but this time we're gonna be doing it live, so. Even if y'all got more questions, I can answer them on stream, but there is a lot of good questions you guys left too. And some of them I am, uh, I am glad to answer too. Cause some of them are, are real good questions, but I, I truly appreciate all y'all for that. Thank you. I just gotta get in here. Like, I'm not in a good position to uh, web rush in. Still? And now it's broken. Huh. Gotta focus. There's no time to lose. Exactly, Peter. I gotta get ready for class soon. Oh, I gotta go to uh, Dr. Connor's class. This is such a thin spot. Okay, so we did something. Unless we just went in a big ass circle, I don't know. This is the thing that sucks, y'all. When we get to um, later parts in the game, I completely forget what to do. <laughs> and we just came from over here, so. Off to the lab well, where the hell is she, Peter? Good thing I'm not doing this live. I would actually, I don't know. Y'all would have been able to help me out. Uh. We have to go down here. That's like the only way. Yeah, that's like the only way we gotta go. Water is his element, not mine. Do we gotta go keep going down or what? It would make no sense if we went down. Wow, I might have to cut this out. This is awful right now. I'm definitely gonna cut this. I didn't even touch this, I think. No, I didn't. I only touched it's running that. Out. Okay, there we go. Oh man, but guys, recent news, tragic news, uh, since the last time we recorded and the last time I made a video. Sadly, co-creator of Spider-Man, Steve Ditko, passed away. It's like... It's crazy to think about because, like, you think all these Marvel icons are, like, immortal because Stan Lee is, like, what, 93, 90, um, 92, and he's still going, like, it's just crazy to think that, like, one of them is actually gone, and the, of all people, the co-creator of Spider-Man, like, it's tough, man, it's tough. But you do gotta thank Steve Dicko for all he's done. He gave us Doctor Strange, uh, the Quantum Realm and everything. Did he give us the Quantum Realm? Or... Uh, I was thinking of it when I was watching Ant-Man. Like, Cause you know in Doctor Strange they go into that? And then he has that comic panel. I'm not sure if he gave us that one or not. I gotta look into it again. But he gave The reason this suit looks the way it does is because of Steve Dicko. If it wasn't for Steve Dicko, I wouldn't be using this suit right now. So rest in peace, man. That's... This is the piranha right here. It's actually a pretty scary design too. Remind me of something. Probably just reach. Do we web rush him or uh, we gotta do this? Okay, so get rid of the water. That's the objective, right? Man, but it's just crazy to think about. And I know, um, Dicko, he did have the falling out with Marvel. I, I think he came back in the 90s because he made Squirrel Girl too. I'm pretty sure he came back, but... If y'all don't know, I'm pretty sure he had a falling out with, uh, Stan Lee over the identity of the Green Goblin. I'm pretty sure that was it. You guys let me know, like, that's what I've heard so far. And there's also a documentary out there, uh, you guys watch it. I think it's like a, uh, British documentary or something. Uh, where is Steve Ditko? They go out and find him and everything. Such an odd villain. But definitely rest in peace, Steve Ditko. Oh, there's more. I forgot. Should I get rid of the water? Uh, yeah, probably. Let me evade this. Good thing about this is the web retreat. Ah! 
And y'all, another thing. I won't get into spoilers, but it's right now Monday morning. So Friday morning, I saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. Y'all, that might be um, my favorite Phase 3 movie. I'm not sure if it's going to beat Civil War or Infinity War. Like, straight up, like, that's the best comic book movie of all time. No movie's gonna defeat that. And, uh, but this? Man, it was a real good movie. I honestly prefer it better than, uh, the first Ant-Man. And I love the first Ant-Man. That, that movie came out when I was getting heavy into the MCU because that was around the time that they announced that Spider-Man was gonna be in the MCU. So, Age of Ultron and Ant-Man were, like, the first two, like, movies, like, I was actually excited to go see because Spider-Man was in the MCU. I wasn't that into the MCU um, before Spider-Man was in it, but yo, this Ant-Man of the Wasp, it is a great movie. I know for some odd reason it comes out in the UK a month later, which is which is like crazy cuz I could see like a week it releases like a week later um in the UK or even in America like they were doing with Infinity War before they changed the date, but man, y'all, that is crazy. I feel bad. Oh. To make sure Gwen's okay. Uh oh, did the game freeze? Okay. I thought the lizard was over here. But I honestly don't believe that the movie's coming out a month later. And especially, y'all, uh, I've been disappointed. I won't get into spoilers, but I've been disappointed uh, recently with all of these uh, Phase 3 post credit scenes. I don't think any of them were that notable. Were uh, that notable. But Ant Man? I honestly think the Ant-Man movies have had the best post credit scenes uh, of any franchise. Because, you know, Ant-Man 1, it sets up the Wasp. Oh, man. This is awful. Ant-Man 1 sets up the Wasp. And then you have a scene from Civil War in there, which, you know, it's a pretty funny movie. And then, end of the movie, you got this serious-ass scene. Apocalyptic. But I'm not getting into spoilers. All I'm going to say is that Ant-Man and the Wasp has the best post credit scenes of any Marvel movie that I've seen so far. I want to review it because I'm probably going to see it twice. But I don't know that much about Ant-Man the way I do Spider-Man. So I don't know if I want to get into Wasting reviews. Here. Who is that? That is like a, a meth house right there. <laughs> Clearing a path. No ticket, no getting in. The Hunter... Oh shit, what's going on? Don't worry, I got your back. But y'all, definitely go see Ant-Man and the Wasp. I know people were sleeping on it and everything. Go see that movie. It is a great movie, you guys. What's left to do? Make the hunter listen. This hunk of metal shoot. That did absolutely nothing, Peter. Don't you think? I thought she fixed it, she said. This is doing absolutely nothing. Let's try the, the, the trash bin. Eddie Brock Easter egg. Woohoo, you're trash, Brock. I know we haven't fought the enemies in this, but... <laughs> oh, we were getting our ass kicked, so... Shout out to these enemies, though. We'll probably be able to get the two levels in, and then the finale will be, uh... The finale that I can probably record Wednesday morning. I don't think we're going to be doing it live the rest of the series, guys. Unfortunately, but... We will be able to finish the game up. Do we got to interact with anything here, or what? Or just help going out? I don't see anybody. I hear someone, though. That's the thing. Okay, this is odd. We got everybody. I don't get it. Give us some space. What's down here? Nothing. No. Okay, this is odd. Oh, that was complete nonsense. Ooh, the lizard. I'm sorry. There was no other way. Yee, it was the only way. Connors. Man, maybe I should have stuck with the black suit. Uh, that way it's like Spider-Man 3. Y'all, Spider-Man 3 has a good lizard story. I know people hate on that game a lot, but 
The lizard story is honestly pretty good in that game. It's such a dark scene too. That's what my boy Med said during the uh, Dr. Connor scene where he's in the lab and he's recording himself becoming a lizard. I honestly think that could have been in the movies. It's a shame. I brought this up in previous threads, but it is a shame we never got to see the Raimi lizard. I honestly think uh, Dylan Baker would have done a great job with the lizard too. I definitely prefer his lizard over uh, Risa Fon's. Not a uh, not saying anything bad about his performance because I do like the untold story aspect of his performance. It's just that I would have preferred the Dr. Connors lizard in uh, the Spider-Man films much better. Step back. What's going on here? We got everyone. No. Yee, let's get him. Swing kick. Somebody mentioned in my suits video, which for some reason blew up. I have no idea why that video blew up the way it did, but somebody mentioned in my video that apparently it's a my idea for unlimited gadgets in the game for the Raimi suit. It's not a good idea. So I apologize for that one. Maybe they could tone it down to like just extra gadgets, but not unlimited. But someone commented with the idea of swing kicks for the Raimi suit because you guys played Spider-Man the movie game You can swing kick in that one, which it's a fun tool. I just like oh my god It's a fun tool, but I never really utilized it. There is bowling in that game, which is pretty fun, but uh That would be pretty cool though the return of swing kicks For the Raimi suit. I don't know what powers would y'all give the Raimi suit if you're Honestly, like, I would still do the gadgets. Maybe, like, do, like, an extra gadget. I don't know. But people were commenting saying that it would be too overpowered, which, uh, you know, it's a single-player game. Like, who cares, really? It's not like we're hopping online with one-man army and the grenade launchers. Which, I guess, there is a spider grenade, so that's similar. This guy is, uh, man, I can't even get this guy. Looks like the um, Vincent D'Onofrio's character from Men in Black, one of the classic movies in my youth. I've never seen the third one actually, I, I gotta watch it. Oh man. But y'all, next game in the series, definitely The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I actually popped that game in so I could get the... Uh, the into the spider-verse footage for you guys for the video that game is so trash like i can't believe like just free roaming for a second all of the uh everything on the map was going off that i had to do like i don't understand how i played that when it first came out but you know when people say it's the worst spider-man game it's definitely the worst free roaming one i won't say it's the worst there's still web of shadows on the ps2 I wouldn't say it's the worst, but it's definitely up there. But that is the next game on the list, y'all. We're going to be playing it exactly like we did this one with um, with just replaying the levels. So that's how we're going to do it for that one. There will be a twist in that series, too. You guys might be able to predict that one. Nobody guessed this one. And uh, I think it was Seabrock that guessed the twist for the Amazing Spider-Man game. So I appreciate it. Her mouse not even moving. What do we do about Connors? Check him with some of this good stuff, then spread it to the city. Sorry. I had to do it. Now. Because later I'll... It's okay, Gwen. Just get out there. Go save the day. <laughs> Sweetheart, save the first time I caught a scientist who mutated into a giant lizard. The hunter will help you find him. Be careful. Oh, get it? Because in Spider-Man 3, the game... Oh, we get to fly this thing. Cool. <laughs> oh, shit. We actually do get to fly it. What the hell? Woo! I'm pretty sure this isn't the last level. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm pretty sure this isn't the last level. Is it? The chapter didn't finish. Oh, the game glitched. Do y'all see this? Okay. Chapter 12, where the lizard crawls. Alistair Smythe is defeated. 
Spider-Man promised to return Connors to the Mental Institute, but the lizard has other plans. I completely fucked up Mental Institute. <laughs> I miscalculated. Is that the end of the level or what? So we actually might be able to wrap the game up here, sadly enough. It's a pretty, it's a, it's a short game, I guess, but we did do a stream. We did two streams for about an hour and a half. This isn't the last level. There's no way. Sift through this scrap heap to find the serum. <laughs> do we fight the lizard twice? I'm not sure. Any last words from the lizard before I get my friend back? Words, Connors. With syllables? The toughest fights are always with the- Okay, so we do fight those. I know you're in there, Doc. I need you to stop. Tell that the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Literally everybody he fights is close to him. Except for Sandman, I guess, but he still has that connection to him, which... I hope in um, Far From Home, we don't get a villain with a connection to Spider-Man. Like, there's no reason to make Mysterio have a personal connection to Spider-Man. The vulture, I could see. It was a good twist. I definitely wasn't expecting it in the theater. And, uh, you know, even my theater, like, had a reaction to it, so... I definitely wasn't expecting that, but... Y'all, just go back with all the Spider-Man films. Almost every villain has a connection to him. Green Goblin does. Dr. Octopus does. Harry. Sandman kills Uncle Ben. Um, Toby knows, uh, Topher Grace. I'm using their actual names. But he knows him before he turns into Venom. Amazing Spider-Man. This lizard works with his father. Harry Osborn is the villain in uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. The only ones that haven't had connections to Peter are Electro and Rhino. And even Peter, uh, like, as Spider-Man, he knows who Max is. So, does that count? I'm not sure. Speaking of which, that looks like the, uh, the stuff that the Rhino tries to steal in Amazing Spider-Man. Do y'all remember the Seven Webheads video where it was like top 10 theories in, uh, for Amazing Spider-Man 2? And somebody was stealing... Where are you clipping this, Peter? <laughs> Is this the last level? I'm not sure. But one of the theories leading into the Amazing Spider-Man 2 was that the Rhino was going to be a truck. Still. You know, Peter, you could just crawl on the roof, but I won't complain. If you want to wash the suit, wash the suit. I don't think this is the last level. Spiders and water don't mix. This looks like where you fight him, though. Oh! It's kind of like that scene. Okay, so this is the last level. Oh. I swear we had one more left. Uh, what do I, what's, what do we, uh, I, I forgot what to do here. I think we just wait for him to get down and we just died. Woo! Let's try it again. Yo, I got this sick background on my phone now. It's, uh, the Spider-Man 2 game cover, but it's like cropped for an iPhone, so it looks great. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we had one more level left. I hope the suit gets completely damaged in this. So do we have to wait till he strikes right there? Or can we go up here? Okay, there we go. Oh. Nope. Do we web shoot him? I completely forgot, yo. Huh. Seems like I'm forgetting everything in this game. Once we play The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I'm gonna be forgetting so much in that game. Like, I've only played through it twice, I think. Once to get, uh, everything I needed for the suits, and after that... Okay, that did nothing. And speaking of which, with the... Okay, use your webs. That's what I thought. But the Amazing Spider-Man 2, you don't even have to get 100%. Oh, I dodged that. Come on. You don't even have to get 100% to get the uh, the suits in the game. 
Oh, I remember this part. I love this part. What the hell? Oh, web zip or fucking web rush. That's what you have to do. <laughs> okay, this time we're getting it. I can't believe we did that. It's kind of crazy too. We're gonna be able to finish the game by today. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the last one then. So it just completely it just took me into the last level, I guess. Ooh, that was awful. Aw, uh, we had him. Come on. Wait, so he doesn't get webbed down there, but he gets webbed up here? That makes no sense. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Multiple dodges. I was assuming we had the web swing. That was the thing. Like, we had to actually web swing. Okay, so it's automatic, I guess. For boss fights in Spider-Man games, this is actually a pretty well-designed level. Like, imagine if this was in the movie. Oh, I missed him again. I keep forgetting we have the dodge. I'm just spamming it. How many times do we do this? Three or five? Mm. You know, the lizard design doesn't look that bad in the game. It definitely doesn't look good in the movie, but... It does look pretty good in here. Okay, we had him. Come on, game. This is stupid. Come on, Peter, come on. Oh, that was close. One more time, one more time. Yee, we got the lizard. Oh, Mr. Parker, I don't feel so good. No way in hell did he fall back that much. Cutters, come on, wake up! Are you all right? You, you saved the lizard. You well, of course him. I saved the lizard. I'm Spider-Man. I already saved you in the movie, remember? When she's fine. You didn't hurt anybody. Except me. What about Smythe? If there's any justice in the jail cell downtown. And when the second movie comes around, he's already I out of jail. His dream failed. <laughs> he saw the world in black and white. He tried to shape it to his vision. But it's all just shades of gray, isn't it? Graphics in this game are actually pretty good. You gotta give it to this game. Amazing Spider-Man 2's graphics? Not so much. I guess it's time to get... Back to the asylum. I hear it's movie night. Oh yeah, what are they showing? Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man? The lizard was a hero. He's still inside, Peter. Lurking in the shadows. We all have our monsters. Oh, just like the man in the hat. Even at bay makes us strong. Smythe couldn't see that. That he who is without sin cast the first stone. So much like your father, Peter. Man, I wish they just added, um... I wish they would have added a lot more to the uh, untold story. Oh, no ending cutscene? That sucks. So how are we supposed to properly end this? I swear there was one more level we had. Cause this is, this has the, we just did this level I'm pretty sure. I mean we beat the game. So is there a way I can get credits? Credits will do fine. Settings. Oh no. I want to end this properly you guys. I can't just end it like this. Okay y'all and looking through this it looks like this level is just a side mission where we fight the rhino which I didn't think it was a side mission so I'm not going to play that one. We did beat the story. Uh. Winnie Chang as Spider-Man.
we did beat the story, I guess, so no reason to play the rest of these uh, levels. I do appreciate all of you for tuning into this. I guess we'll end it on a, uh, a Tobey Maguire looking uh, shot. I'll go over the Oscorp Tower and end it there. So, this is going to wrap it up, you guys, after I swing over to this part. It's just so odd that there's no credits in the game, right? I don't know why. And this is, like, extremely unprofessional <laughs> what we're doing, but... You know, I said I was going to do it with a twist and just replay the story chapters. It's it's just odd that there's no credits. Not even in the options or anything. Shout out to Nolan Dean. He just followed me on Twitter, so you're in the stream, Nolan. Oh no, let's just go end it, y'all. And I gotta say, too, web swinging, although it's basically you're flying through the sky in this game, it isn't that bad. Like, they could have did a lot worse, but it's... It's definitely the worst web swinging of any free roaming Spider-Man game, but I can live with it, I guess. The thing that sucks is that there's absolutely nothing to do once you beat the game. So I guess this will be just the final swing. You know, that's how the Raimi movies end, except for Spider-Man 3, but you know, the final swing is tradition. Hopefully we see that in Far From Home. I'm going to end it right here on the Oscorp building. Let me just get to the top. Oh, the camera. Look at that. And now we're going down. <laughs> Man, technical difficulties all with the Amazing Spider-Man streams. Last stream, I had to print something and everything. It's just odd, y'all. <laughs> but we're going to end it up here, you guys. I'm going to get to the highest point at Oscorp and just end it. Oh, I thought there was an antenna up here. Maybe that's for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Let's see. No, no antenna. Great. The camera is just completely messing up now. Let me see. Highest point in the city. I guess we'll end it right here. No antennas? Nah, not any. But, y'all, that is going to do it for The Amazing Spider-Man. I appreciate you guys for sticking through this series and everything. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty good shot. You can just look on the city. It's kind of odd. <laughs> that whole district in the uh, Spider-Man PS4 looks like this. So guys, I do appreciate you guys for sticking through this. I know we couldn't end it properly like we did with the rest of the uh, rest of the games, but hey, I didn't make the game. I didn't make uh, no credits in the game or anything, but I truly do appreciate you guys for sticking through the game. Next game we are playing is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Thank you once again for making this series possible. I really appreciate it. There will be a twist in that series, so if you guys want to take any guesses, definitely guess away. You can guess as many times as you want. Actually, no, nah, I'll do three since I got to limit the number of uh, possible guesses. So, I mean, if y'all want to do three guesses, it's whatever. I do appreciate y'all for sticking through with this. Thank you for supporting the channel and getting it to a thousand subscribers. It really means a lot. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll be here making a 10,000 subscribers video. I honestly appreciate it a lot. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Follow my social medias and I will see you guys again in the next series.